Hello my lovelies, how are you all? Uh, happy Wednesday, it's Wednesday Wednesday and it's our block of the week. No sewing bee tonight though, it all finished didn't it? What are we going to watch tonight now? Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> I am in a really good mood actually though, I'm in a really good mood. I had a really good night's sleep for me which is was a miracle, absolutely really, yeah, like a proper sleep for me so feeling all in a good mood today. Um, hope everyone's okay, hope you've all, all come in online which is fab. Um, thank you to all of you guys who popped over to the craft shows channel yesterday um, and watched and hello if you've got any new people today watching this one um, yeah it was lovely actually it went really well I was really pleased with that she was a nice nice little project and lots and lots of people commenting and saying hello and stuff um, I have managed to leave the bag of free prize draw names over at the shop so I'm gonna we're gonna do it tomorrow okay we'll do it we'll get Sarah will do the free prize draw tomorrow for the little lined bento bag I completely forgot to pick it up and then I got all distracted because new fabric arrived which I'm going to show you in a minute and I've completely forgot I've left it over at the shop and then we're suddenly like ah oh, it's too late so um, we'll do the free prize draw tomorrow for the the bag that I made and a pattern okay and um, also gives people a few more minutes as well just a few more hours rather just to uh, to watch the video and stuff as well. Um, so who's coming online? Who's there? So we got Linda Head, we got Nikki. Hi Lindy. We got Wendy, Meg, Marilyn, Heather, Fab. Sheena. <gasps> lots and lots, fabulous, lovely. Hi guys, uh, hope you're all well. It looks like the weather might actually be getting a bit nicer. It's my Josh's birthday as well today, my number two out of five. <laughs> um, and it's his birthday today, he's 25 today. I'm getting so old they're all getting far too old now don't like it <laughs> but uh, he's still got a big birthday hug this morning so he doesn't really do birthdays he's like really like Ugh, whatever it's so just a day but i'm like hey, it's your birthday you're getting a present and you're getting a hug <laughs> um right so we've got a couple of little things to tell you just before we get going um we're obviously doing all these blocks and a lot of people a lot of you are making them into an isolation quilt so Sarah is going to do, we're going to put these on the website, um, an ice, uh, a quilt label for you, which says Isolation Quilt 2020. And then obviously, obviously she will put your name, if you want it, on there, um, on the bottom, you know, made by or whatever on the bottom. Um, we've just chosen a really nice, simple, generic pattern. Um, I, think, I think you'll be able to choose the colour that we do it in. Um, and have your name on it. So we're going to do these at £7, okay? If you want any other design, if you want any other sort of, you know, rather than this, let me, if I do this, and hopefully Drew can get up close to it. Um, if you want anything other than this little frame, um, you can talk to Sarah um, and she can she can help you with it, but it would be slightly more. But for this one, with this frame and that word in, and obviously your own, your own name here, it would be seven pound. So if you want to order that to go on the back of your quilt, um, they'll be going on the website, okay? Um, so, That'll be going on the website very soon. So there's that one to tell you about. And then I thought I'd show you these. They literally, as I walked in the door from the shop, the guy was there. It was He was bringing them. They're so lovely. This is from Lewis and Irene. You can see they're still in the cellophane. I haven't even had time to take it out of the cellophane. This is um, Lewis and Irene, and it's called Small Things Pets. And it is just yummy. You can, well, if I put my thumb there, you can see that they are all little designs. So work really well for like quilting. Can you imagine masks made in these? They would be so pretty. So we've got these lovely budges and cockatoo, cockatoos and parrots and all on that one. This one, got all cats. So there's like a little Siamese cat. There's a ginger tabby, little black cat. That one looks like Jessie. I don't know Cara, Cara's probably in work, but that looks like Jessie, Cara's, my, my daughter-in-law's cat. There's this one which is all bunny rabbits and guinea pigs so you've got little bunnies and then little guinea pigs and there's another little guinea pig there he looks like i thought it was a pine cone at first and i realized i was looking at it upside down <laughs> but he's a guinea pig the little carrots in the background my mother is going to go crazy for this one because she is tortoise mad tortoise and turtles she loves them she's got two she's got a tortoise a turtle tattoo actually which she had for her 50th um, but yeah, can you see you've got all the little tortoises on there with little lettuce leaves behind, which I think is just lush. And this one is puppy dogs. So you've got a little collie like my gem. 
You've got um, you've got a golden retriever, lovely good boy like Harvey. You've got like a little Labradory one on there. You've got like a little Shih Tzu type one with a little top knot. Uh, and I think that's like like a little like a little Chihuahua type thing or something. Don't know what that one is, but it is just you know you've got a Labrador there as well. Look at that lovely one. It's just delicious. I really really like these. I don't normally do cutesy cutesy fabrics, but these absolutely made me smile when they came through. They will be going on the website later on this evening. It will be later on this evening um, because uh, I've got lots to do today. <laughs> but I'll get the. I might get Alex to see if Alex will do them this afternoon for me. They're twelve pound fifty a meter. These ones, um, Lewis and Irene. They are really beautiful quality cotton, but delicious, delicious, delicious. So I thought I'd show you those. So. Uh, anybody there just while I'm getting these out of the way? Uh, Susan says she likes the cat one. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it, Susie? Oh, you would like a cat one, Susie, Susie. <laughs> uh, Claire Hodgins says that uh, the fabric looks so cute. It's really cute, really, really pretty. I like the fact that it's a small design. Very often, animal fabrics are quite big. They and and if you're quilted, I mean, brilliant if you're doing bags or cushions or whatever. But if you want some animals in for a quick for a quilt you want a smaller design and that's something that lewis and irene do really well actually their small things range um they've done lots in the past they've done like vehicles and tropical stuff and all sorts but they do do a really nice you know the prints are well you could see that it's only sort of the size of my thumb so even if you were doing really little small squares you could fussy cut and get a get a piece right in there and i think they do that really well actually it's, it's one of their fortes so Anyone else there? Uh, Jenny says she likes the doggy one. Yeah, he's cute, isn't it? And he says I have a tortoise mm. uh, called Fred, but I, I think it should be called Fredder. Oh, you think she? You think he's a she, he's a she? You think he's a she? I can't get my words out. <laughs> Lost the ability to speak. I think it's because I've spoken so much the last few months. I'm just like ah, teeth back in. So, so yeah, really cute. But they'll go on the website. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a block today. I'm going to freely admit to you guys i haven't made a sample um i have done this block before uh, but i gave the quilt away um so i haven't got one to show you so it's going to be a mystery you're going to be sewing along with me and it's going to be a mystery but it is a really nice simple block it's not one that's very complicated might actually be a bit boring to watch i'm afraid but um i like how it turns out it's very simple to put the units together but then you can really play with it which you know i like that about a block i like a block that you can change and, and mess with so you will need i did put the cutting instructions on but again it was late last night because um we were silly busy you will need and obviously with the 7 p.m one i normally did eight three and a half inches by three and a half inches in your background fabric and then you want eight two inch by two inch in your background fabric and then you could do these in the same colour, you could do these in all different colours, entirely up to you. I'm just choosing to use two colours, but you want another eight three and a half by three and a halves, and you want another eight two by twos, okay? You could you could absolutely scrappy this up. If you've got like lots of bits left over now from the end of your, your quilt blocks and stuff, you could scrappy this up brilliantly, okay? Um, just before I get, actually, I'm going to... I'm going to start. I need to draw a, a diagonal line on the back of all of these. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk at you a little bit, okay? Because we're going to put a diagonal line right across the back of the background two by twos and the colour two by twos, okay? So I'm going to do that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk at you. So next week, I thought that maybe we could do a session on how to quilt some of these isolation blocks i mean some of you might be um not planning on quilt as you go in it um we're definitely going to touch on quilt as you go on saturday with because a lot of the questions that have come through have been about quilt as you go so i'm definitely going to do a little demo on that one on saturday but some of you might want to put the the top all together and um you know either do it on daphne or do it through your own machines but i thought a lot of you might be deciding to quilt well tell me what are you going to do with it are you going to put it together as a top or are you going to quilt you know and then quilt it as one or are you going to going to do it as quilt should go would you like me to do a session next week on how to quilt some of these blocks quilt should go wise um not actually the, how to put them together but how to look at a block 
and see what might best enhance it with the quilt in. I thought that might be helpful, might be an interesting interesting session because a lot of people they look at the block and go I don't know I'm going to quilt this so I thought I could take you through how I look at blocks and what I think might work with some of them is that is that useful to you guys would that be helpful let us know okay shout if, shout if you think it would be Jenny says that's a good idea and Barbara says yes please yeah okay oh uh, yeah those are people saying yes brilliant okay let's do that next week one of the sessions next <laughs> week We'll, um, because I'm going to quilt as you go, um, the one that, because Drew wants it, I'm going to quilt as you go it, so, um, although I could put it on Daphne, but, um, we've got such a list for Daphne at the minute, I think I'm more likely to get it actually finished this time before Christmas if I quilt as you go it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that, and, okay, I'll do that maybe Monday next week then, we'll do a session on how to look at a block and what quilting might suit it, and then using our walking foot on our domestic machines, how how you can actually get the best out of it brilliant oh that's one thing i haven't got to think of for next week excellent <laughs> um what else was i going to say to you guys nearly done with these um questions questions for saturday so um we're going to do a question and answer session and try and answer some of your questions we've had about six or seven through so far some of them are the same thing though you all seem to want to know how to do quilt as you go again i think some of you are struggling with it so we're definitely going to do a session on that. But if you have any questions, it doesn't have to be a problem. It doesn't have to be a, you know, why, you know, how do I do this type thing? It could just be a, how do I do this? Um, it could be something about the shop or where to, where to find fabrics or anything at all, anything at all. So, um, you know, do have a, have a little think and send some questions through if you want to pick our brains. You will be able to ask live on air as well. But, you know, if you want to pick our brains, um, please do give us a shout okay let's get those questions in before friday okie doke right i've drawn a diagonal line on the back of both lots of my two inch squares and this is oh, this is i'm just going to turn these all the right way around a second <clears throat> this is very very simple with regards to actually putting the block together um this unit because we're going to do exactly the same on both of these and what we're going to do is in the bottom right corner, so this is facing you guys, I'm gonna line up one of these little fab the coloured fabric ones on a background square. And then on this one, I'm gonna line one of the background squares on one of the coloured ones. Okay, and we're gonna do that on all eight on both sides, okay? So all of these will have a coloured square and this is why I was saying you could make it really scrappy it didn't wouldn't matter if you had just two of everything or even one of everything or whatever you know it's entirely up to you and then these are going to go the other side like this okay so just take note of which way that line is going all right and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch down that drawn line okay and then when we cut it off we're going to basically we're just snowballing one side we're adding a little corner to one side one corner of each of the squares so over the sewing machine and we're going to do that on all of these which i'm afraid is going to be a weeny bit dull for you to watch but i really like this block when it comes comes out when it's finished so uh so you're gonna have to put up with it <laughs> you're gonna have to put up with watching it a weeny bit dull today just to get started i'm just gonna swap my foot a second I've realised I've still got my quarter inch on and I don't need that just at the moment. Uh, Sandra said this would be my last square in fabrics as I really, I'm really short on background fabric. Yeah, I think, um, I know Linda's decided she's going to, um, she's going to start doing a Christmas, in Christmas fabrics now, aren't you? We will continue to do blocks because obviously the one o'clocks are going to, even though we're open on Monday, we will continue with them at the one o'clocks. Um, for the foreseeable future, you know, until we can actually start having classes and stuff again. So we will continue to do them, but yeah, you might decide now that actually, I think, I think I could probably make two king size quilts with the amount of blocks I've got. So um, I think I might, cause I'm literally on my last dregs too. I'm gonna start maybe next week, start using some different colors as well. I think that's probably She's, the way to go. She says I'm going to Q A Y G. So any ideas would Quilt be as you go. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's what we were just talking about, love, is um, Quilt as you go is Monday next week. I'm going to um, 
I'll, what I'll do is like I'll get four or five of the blocks out that we've done maybe you're trying to sort of pick out different ones and we're going to talk through about how I look at a block and think right okay I think that bit needs emphasizing that bit needs quilting um, you know and again that's only my views on it but it's how I would look at a block um, and we'll go from there okay so I'm on this block I'm just stitching down the drawn line and I'm going to chain piece them like I said it's going to be a weenie it dull for you because it's just a just really simple nice and simple lines nothing very exciting I'm afraid on this at the moment but I like the fact that this block is one you can play with and we'll have a little look at that in a moment um, when we start putting the blocks together okay so so talk to me ladies what are you up to how are you all anybody anybody got any questions or anything there Jace had just thought of another question from a Q&A. Oh, cool. Please drop it over, please, Jen. Can she, you... said, she said, however, I might not... However, you might not want to answer it. <laughs> no, no, that's... Well, if I don't want to answer it, I won't put it in the, the session. <laughs> uh, um, oh, now, see, now you've got... You're going to have to send it to me now, Jen, because now I'm intrigued, because what is it I wouldn't want to answer? Apart from, you know, where else can I buy Liberty? Because, of course, the only place to buy Liberty is me. Duh. <laughs> but no. Um, ask, ask the questions, guys. Ask the questions. Um, um, Sandra said, yes, I'm definitely going to be carry on. Um, but we'll have to find another fabric. Where, now, where shall I look? Where should you look for more fabric? Oh, I don't know. Do you know any good fabric shops? I don't know. I don't know if I know any good fabric shops. <laughs> hmm. Jenny said she sent it. Cool. Thanks, lovely. I'll uh, I'll have a look at that in a moment. So, so all I'm doing again with these so is um, I'm just chain piecing and I'm just sewing down that drawn line. So it's nice and simple, this little block. We've had a few sort of more complicated blocks recently, so I thought sometimes it's nice to go with a Give your brain a little rest and go with a nice simple one. So nearly there, getting there. Any other questions or anything there? Who's there? Anybody? We got Dot who's joined us. I did. We got Dot who joined us. Hi, Dot. I saw Catherine in Tesco's yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I miss the girls. I haven't seen them properly in ages. Nearly there. Nearly there. There we go. Oh, I don't know. How many more have I got to do? Two. Nearly there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so don't know. Anybody else having a, any questions or anything? Uh Jane just says she's gotta go back to work. Aw, oh, bye honey. I'll see you soon. I'll speak to you soon. There we go, last one, nearly there. Okay. Brilliant. So, let's just cut the thread on that. Press the wrong button. <laughs> and then we're gonna just snip these apart. And then we can have a little play around with, I'm gonna iron them out, we can have a little play around with the, the placement and stuff. What have we got going on this week? Tomorrow we've got a Zoom class happening tomorrow. We're doing um, a nautical doorstop, which is on a Zoom. Sarah is on the one o'clock um, and she's making uh, bowl cozies, um, which are brilliant, particularly in the winter when you're having like soup or stew or something. Um, you sit your bowl in them and it stops you burning your hands when you're, when you're carrying them in. They're just really pretty. Um, she made some for Sean last Christmas and Sean says she uses them all the time. A really nice little project. So Sarah's going to do that tomorrow on the one o'clock. Um, we got then Friday. We've got our big Jean Taylor uh, event happening. So um, you got Sarah and I, both of us, on Friday. We're going to do it from the shop, and we're going to. Um, there will be twenty percent off all Jean Taylor products. Okay. Um, all the printed waddings, um, shape cut rulers, everything. 20% off everything for 24 hours 
on our website okay just on our website so um, we're going to give you a bit of a demo we're going to talk you through some of the different products how to get the most out of uh, out of the products and also give you some hacks as well about you know different types of ways you can use the the pre-printed wad in uh, or the rulers and stuff as well so some like proper little hacks too so um and if it's both of us as well it's bound, it's bound to be complete chaos you know what we're like together <laughs> so uh heather asked does this block have a name uh yes it's called the bow tie block sorry traditionally it's called a bow tie block um Oh, it's got it's one of those blocks that have got lots of different names. When you look it up, there's all sorts of different, you know, different versions of it. Um, but the one that I I found was called Bow Tie, and I think you'll probably see that in a second when I start putting it together. So I'm gonna just gently set the seam and push it open. Okay. But like I said, it's it really this is really one of those blocks you can absolutely play with with um design and fabrics and all the rest of it okay well, that one was a bit wonky it'll be fine it'll go into the seam allowance there we go. just gently press them out and that gets really hot really quickly okay who's there who else is there anybody there yeah this says thank you that's all right love that's it you know well, you're all quiet today what are we gonna do what's on what can we watch instead of sewing bee Anybody watching any good TV series at the moment? I haven't got anything on the go. I've just finished the Taken series. You know, it was based on the the films Taken with old Liam Neeson. So um, I've just there was only two seasons of that. So because I tend to have stuff playing in the background while I'm sewing. Um, so I finished that. I need a new season, series to watch. Anybody watched anything good recently? I'm really struggling at the moment. Phil and I did The Man in the High Castle recently. We did like it was four seasons of that we'd never watched it so we did watch that but yeah i need something need a need a new some new something to binge right okay that's all the prep work so we've added a corner to every one of the colored three and a halfs and every one of the backgrounds okay so you should have 16 that look like this right okay what we're going to do now is we're going to take two colors and two backgrounds okay and I'm going to try and do this towards you guys. So we're going to put them together like this. Okay, so that those little pieces there sit together. And you're going to alternate them so it looks like that and looks like that. Okay, so you end up with this little piece here in the middle. But you'll see what happens to this, which is why I think it's the bow, you get that bow tie thing when you start adding more on. So, um, if I put another two of those, so this one's going to go like this because it would be opposite, like that, and that one ends up like that. Here we go. I will start sewing these together in a second. Okay, so these are going to go like that, and can you see you end up with these sort of bow tie shapes? Okay, now you can absolutely just have them all go in the same way, all right, or you can turn them. Okay, so you can do this, like this, okay, so again, this is where we start, we could start, well, actually, let me lie it all out the traditional way, and then we can start playing a little bit with them, okay, um, so, right, so that's going to be a dark one there, dark, light, dark, light, and then... Where am I? There we go. So light, dark, light, dark. Okay, like that. I would stitch. Normally we'd go in rows, but because we kind of want this centerpiece to to be quite accurate, I'm going to stitch it in little sections of four. So I'm going to take these four to start with. Okay. So I'm going to stitch that one to that one with a quarter of an inch, and this one to this one. Okay. And then that way and I'll do that with all four all right so back over here and I'm gonna pop my quarter an inch back on actually because it, it does make life a le little little bit easier sometimes so um, there we go right what I would be careful of with this is not necessarily that these edges match 
if I can hear and you won't be able to get it. You want to make sure that these like these those point those blah, what's the word diagonals <laughs> line up. Okay. You can pop I would pop a, I'm gonna pop a pin in these, okay? So what I want to do is make sure that those diagonals are as near as damn it lined up. Okay. That's the bit that you would worry I would worry about, okay? Because that's if it doesn't quite meet at the top, it doesn't matter because that'll disappear into your seam allowance. But those points are going to be on display. So you do want to make sure that those go oh, right. Okay. Right. Any other questions? Any comments there, guys? Um, Joanne says Celebrity Master Chefs tonight. Oh, yes. Phil watches, um, what was it? Uh, celebrity Bake Off. Celebrity Bake No, not Celebrity Bake Off. <laughs> Bake off the professionals, he quite likes that. But I don't like the judges on it. The one woman really annoys me. <laughs> Lots of people annoy him too. Um, yeah, Celebrity Ma uh, Masterchef, I should, might give that a go. Okay, and then I'm going to just gently iron that out to one side. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to put these two together. Okay, so who, who watched last night? Are you all going to have a go at a bento bag? I really like them. I think they're really, really cute little bags. Sean actually made me one. It was one of the first Christmas presents years ago. Um, when we first opened the shop, she made me one for Christmas. And it was that I thought, right, okay, we're going uh, to have a little go at those. So. Oh, come on. Oh, what's important? Hang on. It's liking something. It's got caught on a little... There we go. Got caught on a thread. <gasps> Sun's trying to come out. It's suddenly got a little bit brighter. Sun's trying to come out. <laughs> so that one's gone towards the white. So I'm going to make sure that this one goes towards the white as well. Because that'll just help with the nesting in a moment. Okay. Like that. And now we're going to put these two together. All right. That one to that one. And nest those seams in between. And like I said before, with your nesting, make sure one seems going one way, one goes the other, and it's kind of clipped into place. I'm going to pin that in place in the centre. And I'm also going to pin where those diagonal corners meet as well. And I know I don't normally pin, but this is one of those times where it's useful. So, like that. Pop another pin in there. Just hold all that in. And then we can stitch down on this. Um, what the news I forgot to tell you? Uh, Nikki said she made, uh, she watched and she's going to make one. Ah, oh, fab. Barbara went, Barbara there. Barbara made one this morning. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Oh, where's my picture? I need a picture. I'll put it on the gig Gigglers page so we can see it. Um. Oh. Claire said she's making a bit a bento bag. Fab. She will be, sorry. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so with this one, do you remember the little trick with a four patch? Because this is still a four patch, just the same as anything else. If we just take out those two little stitches there, okay, make sure they're out both sides, like that. Come on. There we go. Then when I iron it out, they will go in opposite directions, or they better go in opposite directions, and they're going to misbehave. Just gently press that one that way, and gently press that one the other way, like that. And then you get a really nice point right in the centre. Okay, well that's not too bad actually. That, that, that one there, you see this one here is just a bit off, but... I'm not going to worry about that. Three foot rule. If you can't see it from three foot away, it didn't happen. Okay, so you'd make four like that. And I suppose that's what they mean by the bow tie. It's that idea, it's a bow tie. Um, Can you see it now, Drew? Yeah. Couldn't see it before, could you? No. <laughs> so, shall I do another one? I, let me let's do another what time is it yeah right. we've got time for to do another one i'll do another one so that we can start playing around with what they look like but i know this is a bit dull today girl so you're gonna have to talk to me come on what are you up to what are you up to there so i've got some bento bags going on um 
I know Anne Reese is making a really look. No, I can't remember which way round. I put that one down. Anne Reese is making. She, I, was, she, I was talking to her earlier. She's making a lovely um, heart quilt, which looks really pretty. That's going to be really nice. Um, what's everyone making? What are you all doing? Sonia says, "I love the three foot rule." Oh yeah, three foot rule. <laughs> if you can't see it from three foot away. Because we're really unkind to ourselves. We look at stuff at this this distance and go, oh god, that's a bit off, isn't it? Oh, oh I'm rubbish. Ugh, that's rubbish. But who looks at a quilt like this? You don't. A quilt's on a bed. A quilt's on a sofa. A quilt's supposed to be cutched up round somebody, you know. And if you can't, if you put something like that and you can't or hold it up to someone else and say, spot the mistake, if they can't see it, it doesn't. Three foot roll. Can't see it from three foot away. Nobody will ever see it. So I'm a firm believer in that. I like um, Angela Waters from Midnight Quilter. A finished quilt is better than a perfect quilt because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. So why not? Why not just enjoy the process and stop beating ourselves up so much? Because we all do that, don't we? When somebody says, "Oh, that's a nice dress you've got on. Oh, it's only it's only cheap." Instead of going, oh, thanks. Or, oh, that quilt you've done is beautiful. Oh, well, I made a mistake there. Go, just enjoy what you're making. I'm a real believer in that. Enjoy the process. There is no such thing as the quilt police. And frankly, if somebody points out a mistake, poke them in the eye. <laughs> it looks Don't give them a quilt. <laughs> I said it looks more homemade if there's a mistake in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you want something machine made, go to Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put this one together again as well. It's an art process. Nobody looks at a Van Gogh and says, oh, well, you know, his sky looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Oh, he's missed a sunflower leaf off. This, uh, you'll make, you'll, this is an artistic process. You know, people don't necessarily give themselves credit for creating something because that's what you guys are doing, whether you're making a bento bag or a thread catcher or a you know, heirloom quilt you're doing something creative and it's it's important it's important to acknowledge that you you're making something it's up apparently da vinci hated the mona lisa yeah he never liked it i've read that yeah apparently yeah thought it was rubbish to be honest i've seen it i have seen it in the louvre and i'm not that impressed either to be honest i'm not quite sure what all the fuss is about i get that it was an it was amazing. I mean, I've got a visual arts degree, so I did quite a lot about art history during that degree. And I understand that it was pivotal for its time and all the rest of it. But I don't, I don't really get why everybody raves about it so much. I think it's because it was so different, the style of painting for, for its time. Yeah. But we're, not very, we're not very kind to ourselves, are we, about our work? We always go, mm, well, mm, you know, nah, sod it. You, excuse my language. Be kind to yourselves. <laughs> Embrace your mistakes. And if people, like I said, if people point them out, poke them in the eye. <laughs> right, okay, let's just do that little trick on this one once again. Just, oh, there we go, Drew. So I'm just taking out those two little stitches there, making sure they've come out like that. There we go. That one the one side never wants to come out. And that way you can push them each way. So that seam will go one way. Okay, come on. Oh, see, it's because I'm trying to do it. Normally it goes quickly. That seam goes that way and that one will go that way and it'll lie much, much flatter. Here we go, got it. Okay. Like that. And then turn him over. Give him a good press on that side. And that one's pretty good. That one's not too bad at all. That's pretty spot on, that one. It's a little bit out, but like I said, who cares? So I won't do these other ones now, ladies, because it's just a repeat of the same thing. But I will, I will leave in there so you can see. So you can absolutely just have all your bow ties go in the same way. Okay, let me just put that together so you can kind of see it. All right. However, you could play with this. These don't have to be the same colour. When you cut your eight three and a half inch squares, cut them out of different fabrics. You know, you just have two in each colour. You these don't have to be the same that could be different again you know it could be that um, if we turned it and did this okay 
Um, so if you imagine that was, yeah, that would be like that. And then this one would come to the centre, wouldn't it? Um, like that. Okay, so it would end up looking something like that. Why not have these as different colours and you'd end up with like a little four patch, you know, like a sort of, well, it's like a snowball now, isn't it? It's a snowball block with the little bits off there. But you could do these in different colours. Have a play with it. See what you can come up with. You know, um, what else could we do? So because I've already sewn these together, they are all going the same way. But what about if we, we did them like this? Okay, so you could do something that's looking more like, rather than bow ties, looking like little um, little blocks like this. Okay, that's quite cute as well. Okay, you could put those together. So I, obviously I've sewn these, so I can't change those ones. But um, you know, you could put them together like that. Okay, so have a play, have a play with them. It's one of the, it's one of those blocks that. I would do all of this element and then I'd lay it out and move it around and then decide what I what I want to do. Um, you know, you can absolutely mess around with these and see what you can come up with. Um, any questions or comments there, guys? Anything you want me to go through again? Marilyn says, what will we do when Drew goes back to work? Oh, Alex. I'm going to rope Alex because Alex hasn't got a job at the minute. So uh, Alex, you have to have Alex. Alex isn't quite as chatty as Drew, though. He'll be good at the cavern work, but he will be quite as chatty as Drew. <laughs> Do I trust him with my toy? Oh, do you trust him with your gimbal? Ooh. Or Sarah and I will have to do it. <laughs> we'll have to do it between us. One of us will be, uh, you know, you'll have to teach us how to use the the, the toy thing. And uh, we'll have, I'll have to film Sarah and Sarah will have to film me. I'm probably going back for a couple of weeks now. I no. can't imagine it's going to open up mega soon, to be honest. Probably mid-August, maybe yeah. September. I think, you probably, I think we've probably got him for... Another couple of weeks, yeah. I'll still so. be around anyway. So. You will on your days off. You can do yeah. it on your days off, love. Yeah. On the days you're not working. <laughs> oh, Marilyn says we'll miss him. Oh. I don't know, I've got like a whole fan base going on. <laughs> do we need a Drew fan base page as well, do we? <laughs> don't be too nice to him. His head won't get through the door. <laughs> I won't get any work out of him if you're too nice to him. Get too big for his boots. <laughs> Anything else there? Um, no. no, it's just more fan base about Drew. <laughs> You're talking about yourself in the third person now. <laughs> I know. I, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna bring him down a peg. I'm gonna go make him change. The, swap the washing. Put some washing on the line. That'll bring him down a peg, won't it? He'll be, he'll be the <laughs> no, best. He's been brilliant. Swapped. He has been brilliant. He, we, he's made our lives a lot, lot easier during this lockdown by by helping out and stuff. But uh, but yeah, don't don't give him ideas about the station. <laughs> Come says, off it. <laughs> Jenny says you do have a fan base, lol. <laughs> Oh, maybe we need to, you know, we'll do a Drew White Gecko calendar next year. <laughs> you with different sewing poses. <laughs> Your mugs and t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> well, I've still got my billboard in. <laughs> you have? Is your billboard still in it's the still there. in the Odeon? <laughs> so when Drew was an apprentice, um, they used his photos for... Um, some promotion stuff for some marketing and we walked into the local cinema and what kind of went oh my god because there was literally an eight foot picture of drew there all in his chef whites being like hi <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> we, we had no idea it was there it was brilliant you know, there's a billboard in um what's it called it's ocean park there's a billboard yeah, yeah. there is one yeah, yeah. and i'm on the, that you're well. on the billboard aren't you yeah a 20 foot high drew <laughs> It's a really bad photo as well. Yeah, you hated it, didn't you? <laughs> but never mind. Anyway, right, enough of our uh, chattering on about how amazing Drew is. <laughs> um, I, I won't be back tomorrow because I've got a Zoom class, but Sarah will be back tomorrow at one o'clock. Um, don't forget to send those questions for me and ready for Saturday. And I will see you on Friday. I'll get those new fabrics on the website as well in a minute, okay, because they're lovely. Um, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.